As we wait to see if Casey Anthony walks away from sentencing a free woman, there are concerns about her safety because of all the outrage over the not guilty verdict, similar to another famous case. Orenthal James Simpson, not guilty of the crime of murder. As to the charge of first degree murder, verdict as to count one, we the jury find the defendant not guilty. Our next guest was a jury and trial consultant for both the Casey Anthony and the OJ Simpson trials. Richard Gabriel joins us from Phoenix. Um, sir, tell us about it. Tell, tell us the similarities between the two. Obviously, one was a celebrity, one wasn't, but give us a sense on what you were seeing when you were looking at the jury um, uh, for, for both. Well, uh, let me tell you, the, the similarities is obviously both cases gripped this nation, both touched a number of emotional nerves in a lot of people, and, and as a result, America became so heavily invested in those cases. Both had immense uh, pretrial publicity. Quite frankly, most people uh, concluded that both of those defendants were guilty before the trial, and of course, both verdicts came out uh, with a very unpopular verdict because the jury in both of those cases said, we don't have the evidence that we need to, to actually convict these defendants. And I think what, what you see in both of these cases is that there's a huge difference between those of us who sit in our living rooms and watch these cases. We can speculate, we can uh, find all kinds of things to th come to the conclusion that we we, we think they probably did it, but a jury in the jury box sitting in the courtroom every day is charged with a higher duty, which is uh, beyond uh, a reasonable okay. doubt, right. to All make right. the prosecution uh, convict their case. But as a consultant, and you were looking at that jury, did you see this coming at all, where there was acquittals on all three, of the, three or four of the major charges? Did you see that happening? I did see it happening, and the fact is we did a, we did a focus group before this case, uh, before the case started, and the, that focus group came to the same conclusion. We were, quite frankly, surprised because of all this prejudicial stuff, we thought people would uh, sort of automatically conclude that she was guilty. And so with both of those cases, we okay. saw this interesting right. phenomena, which they, they just couldn't find enough there to really get to that really strong overcome the burden of proof. Right, so the, another interesting phenomenon that you point out, attractive defendants, Scott Peterson, Casey Anthony, O.J. Simpson, are more likely to be cleared by jurors. Please explain. Well, Scott Peterson was not cleared by a jury. He was convicted and also sentenced to death. So it really depends on attractive defendant uh, and how it fits into the case. In the Scott Peterson case, he was uh, accused of wanting to get rid of his wife uh, because he wanted a philandering lifestyle. I felt in this case, an attractive Casey Anthony would actually favor the prosecution. Although the research does show that, you know, for the most part, jurors will give some credibility to more attractive defendants. In this particular case, when it reinforces Forces the theory of the theme of the prosecution that that uh, that she wanted a freer lifestyle. It actually went against the defense, so we were concerned about that going forward. All right, that's uh, Richard Gabriel, who had a bird's eye view, interesting perspective on both the O.J. Simpson trial and the Casey Anthony trial. Thank you very much, sir. And by the way, coming up, we're going to speak to prosecutor Jeff Ashton in just about uh, 30 minutes or so.